Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 17th, 2015. I'm Keeley Lairdall. Tomorrow is our homecoming assembly, parade, and games. And I'm Chris Frivey. We'll give you the details on where, when, and how you can be involved. Spirit Day is on Friday. Your CSN News starts now. Here's your wardrobe heads up. Today is snazzy versus lazy, so check out the fine or not so fine threads. The annual homecoming assembly will take place tomorrow at 1.50 in the gym, as it will be spirit day. Students are encouraged to wear the following colors by grade level. Freshmen wear gray, sophomores wear maroon or cardinal, juniors wear white, seniors wear black. Following the assembly, students will be dismissed to see the parade. Have you got the stuff to put a dent into Canyon Ridge? Then take a swing for debate and speech is for you. Save up those dollars and get ready to demolish our homecoming opposition, Canyon Ridge. Swing the sledge and make an impression. Are you interested in ping pong? The first quarter ping pong tournament will be after school September 24th. If you want to participate, you need to let Ms. Carmack know. Even if you don't play, even if you don't play it's worth a look to see hard hitting ping pong action. Need some logo gear for the big game? Get your Wildcat gear, class power tees are only five bucks, and Wildcat paws, temporary face tats, and so much more is available through our school store. See Mr. Coronado for details. Juniors may pick up their class shirts after school in Mr. Hendricks' room. You need to pick them up today. They are also available if they are coming to the float direct if you are coming to the float decorating today after school in the stadium. There are extra shirts that can be pur purchased for $5. Students who have purchased their ASB cards should stop by the front office and pick them up. You need your card to get into games for free and get in others for reduced prices. Speaking of getting involved, if you are in school dance, don't forget to work on your float today and Thursday. Check with Mrs. Whitmore for, for any changes due to weather. If you've had a discussion with Mr. Stern about taking the exploratory internship class and have not picked up the packet of information, please do so ASAP in front of the office. Please get the two permission slip forms into, into Mr. Netto in the room A231 ASAP. The rest of the packet is for you to keep your record of your hours and for your mentor to sign. Any questions, please see Mr. Netto or Mr. Stern. Also, if you're interested in the Costa Rica trip, to the parent meeting is tonight in Mr. Shizzle's room. We'll be right back after this. Are you going to be ready when robots eventually take over the world? Get on the winning side and join robotics. In robotics, you will learn how to program and build various kinds of technology. You will learn about welding, electrical engineering, and programming. No experience? No problem. Come ready to learn. The Robotics Club meets every Thursday at 7 p.m. at Columbia High School in room A235. So if you have the chance, email Mr. Shizzle and get more information. Get your year in gear, save yourself from world destruction, and join robotics. Weather is brought to by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today is high 63, low 40, showers. Tomorrow's high 69, low 41. Strong aftershocks rippled through Chile on Thursday after a magnitude 8.3 earthquake killed at least three people, killed at least eight people, excuse me, and slammed powerful waves into coastal towns, forcing the evacuation of over a million people. The government ordered evacuations from coastal areas after the powerful quake hit on Wednesday evening, seeking to avoid a, rep a repeat of quake disaster in 2010 when authorities were slow to warn of a tsunami that killed hundreds. As the risk has subsided, the government lifted its tsunami warning on this morning. The, the quake and heavy waves afterward caused flooding in coastal towns, damaged buildings, and knocked out power in the worst hit areas in central Chile. It shook buildings of the capital city of Santiago about 280 kilometers to the south. Today, the U.S. Army will hold a preliminary hearing in the desertion case of Sergeant Bowie Bergdahl. A former prisoner of war in Afghanistan held for five years before a swap in 2014 for five Taliban leaders. The proceedings are at a military base in San Antonio and are similar to a probable cause case in civilian court where both sides can tell witnesses and lay out legal arguments. Legal experts say Bergdahl from Haley was charged in March with desertion and misbehavior before the enemy. 
If convicted of misbehavior, the most serious charge, he would be sentenced to life in prison. Today's SAT word of the day is dormant, which means sleeping in an inactive state, but with the potential to awaken. You could use it this way. The orchid on the windowsill was dormant throughout the winter, but began to bloom again in the spring. Thanks, Thanks for watching, and if, remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.